to be recording like on a real camera. But hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a tack haul, which I am super excited about because who doesn't love tack hauls? And like, it's just a chance for you guys to like, sit down with me, hang out. It's like freezing today because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants in the middle of summer, but my heart's totally fine. But anyways, I went to Greenhawk, which is a Canadian saddlery. I will link it down below because they're just awesome. And as usual, I, I went in to buy a $20 fly mask. And then it came out like $200 later. So I was like, hey, you know what? I spent a lot of money, but I'm just going to share it with you guys because who doesn't want to see what I got, right? Let's just start with this giant bag. Oh my god. Alright, so the first thing I got is so useless, guys. It's so useless. I got this purple thing. Um, I was going to get the green one, but the purple one was on sale, so I was like, gotta get the cheaper one. It's like one of those mitts. And I just want to have it for bathing, but then, you know, you don't realize it once it gets wet, it probably takes like seven days to dry. Probably not the best purchase, but I'm really excited because I use my hands, and this I feel like is more effective to bathe a horse with, especially since we have a show coming up. So, regular $4.99, it was $3.99, I saved a dollar, it's awesome. Moving on. Got him a new pair of bell boots because we literally live with these bell boots. Um, Sam has a really bad overreaching, and because he does have special shoes and like really bad feet, yeah, he needs bell boots, of course, and of course he needs the really expensive kind because, you know, you already sucked the money out of me enough. Why not do it some more, right? So these are the Professional Choice Ballistic Overreach Boots. I 10 out of 10 recommend these because I will show you guys in a second. So that's what they are. They're the ballistic, the ballistic ones. And they look like this. I just got the black ones because I buy pretty designs and they get ruined. I got an extra large because my horse is, like, insanely huge hooves. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. I'll show you next time I vlog, but, like... He has giant hooves for like a 16-2 hand. Okay. So they just look like this and they have this little piece here which you put like in the inside so you put like this. And that way they don't move. Somehow my horse still manages to move them. I don't understand how but hey. That's cool. These were $50. So 10 out of 10 recommend these boots. I will have all the items linked in the description box for you guys if you want to check them out. My mom bought this. Show me to get it. It's like um, a curry comb. I love these curry combs. They are the best. They're like just the mitt ones. I swear by mine. I've had it for like four years and it's still awesome. But this one just has the massage balls because Sam does get really tense. So we're going to try this out and see if he likes it. And it was only $7. So hey, why not? Fun things. And I went to the pack store. What's for fly masks? Greenock has the best fly masks and they're so cheap. I love them. So I got this one. I'm not too sure about this one. I haven't tried this one so this is the one I got last year and I love this one I got him a large it is the Shedro fly mask and it's $16.99 like I said I'll link it down below I definitely recommend you guys try them they're awesome so I like the ones that have like it's see-through so I can still see his eyes so he doesn't look like a crazy thing I don't know fly mask kind of freaking out this one doesn't have ears though um he's pretty picky about it so I, that's why I bought the next one has ears and then it has a strap in the back and it just goes like this and I love these ones they have like this super awesome material and I just love them they last so long and then I got this one. I'm not too sure if it's going to fit, but we bought it just in case. So this has the nose cover and the ears, which I don't know. I'm, I just like to spoil Salem, so of course I wanted to get him this one. Oh, and for the extra stuff you get, it was $3 more. So this one has the ears, but he has really big warm blood ears, so like even though this is a large, I don't know if they're going to fit. And they didn't have an extra large, so I got that, and then it just has a bit of a nose cover. So same fly, same fly mask, except it has ears and a nose cover, so... Airplanes are so rude. I'm just trying to film a video. So I'm going to see. I'm going to go tomorrow. I have a lesson. So we'll see if all this stuff fits him. Cross my fingers it does. But also cross my fingers it doesn't because I want to return one because that's a lot of money. Got two more things. So I got him a thing of Alpha Omega Chill Ultra because have you literally? Everyone's like, why do you use chill? I'm like, have you met my horse? Insert crazy clip now. <laughs> So, this is the Alpha Omega Chill Ultra. It's the Focus Calm. This shit works wonders. Um, me for just trailering, basically. Um, yeah, give 30 cc's one hour prior to event. I didn't know there was stevia in this. Like, I'm really trying to make my horse healthy by, like, not giving him, like, full sugar. Gotta give that stevia a healthy Salem. Anyways, this is just for focus and calm and concentration. It works wonders. Like, 10 out of 10, I totally recommend this stuff. This stuff... It's just amazing. It's a saver. Plus, with my elbow, um, we the vet recommended to find a like legal 
supplement or like sedative I can give him just because I know he'll pull extra when he's off property because he's a little crazy and with my elbow like only being like 90% healed we're not taking that risk so got the chill and then the other reason I went is because we had to get a new bed so exciting um yesterday in my lesson my coach noticed that he was pulling a lot and he's in a loose ring snaffle because like I said he has a very sensitive mouth and so my coach asked me to try the bosher again but we've only tried the bosher with the nutcracker so we got him the loose ring because he does like loose rings better so this is the I think it's a cavalier oh my god okay cavalier made it yo preach those nice canadian brands this was $48, but it's totally fine. It's the French Link Bocher 5.5, so I'm going to try that on him tomorrow and let you guys know. I do recommend Bochers if you have a horse who pulls or just needs a bit of leverage because if you don't know how a Bocher works, it looks like this and the side looks like this. This has really big rings, though, and this is where you attach, like, where you attach a normal bit, but instead of it moving, you have a second. It's kind of like a mini Pelham, but they're really awesome, and I totally recommend them. They work wonders. I hope you guys enjoyed my mini tack haul. Nothing really exciting. I'm really sorry. Totally sorry that it's not really exciting things. But hey, it's still a video. You guys still get to like hang out with me, talk, cool, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like tackles because I love tackles. And I will see you guys in my next vlog, which should be filmed tomorrow, which means it will be up Thursday. So yeah. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because... I have a cute horse. That's literally the only excuse I can give you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.